Hello dear students, this is Dr. Santos and today our topic is about information technology and community health. What is the current state of Philippine healthcare and the development of e-health in the Philippines? When it comes to the availability of healthcare services, Filipinos often experience a crisis in confidence brought about by various factors such as high cost, poor accessibility, and lack of patient data or information. High cost. Recent study shows that 40% of Filipinos are unsure whether they can pay their medical bills. Well, 35% do not know whether they can afford regular checkups. Poor accessibility. On average, it takes a Filipino 39 minutes to travel to the nearest health facility. Minutes that can mean life or death in the worst instances. According to the Philippine Department of Health, only 13% of healthcare providers and 40% of all tertiary hospitals are located in rural areas. As a result, 70% of the population in these places have little or no access to healthcare services. Next is lack of patient data or information. Moreover, even assuming healthcare is affordable and accessible, a problem still stems from the fact that patient data or information, which are necessary in order to provide adequate healthcare, is often incomplete, inaccurate, misplaced, or at times simply unknown. So, what is the proposed solution? One key solution to the healthcare problems that has recently been gaining traction is the development of a framework for e-health in the Philippines. The Department of Health has taken the lead on this forefront, spearheading initiatives such as the Philippine e-health strategic framework and plan 2014 to 2020. This will enable widespread access to healthcare services health information, and securely share and exchange patients' information in support to a safer, quality health care, more equitable and responsive health system for all the Filipino people by transforming the way information is used to plan, manage, deliver, and monitor health services. So the following are components. IT-enabled health services, IT in all public health facilities, electronic medical record, health data standards use, and Philippine Health Information Exchange implementation. What are the expected benefits of e-health system? This will lead to improvement in the communication and responsiveness within the healthcare system. Addressing obstacles to equitable access of healthcare and supporting other health initiatives such as universal healthcare. What are the components of eHealth? The following are the components of eHealth. Leadership governance, and multi-sector engagement, legislation, policy, and compliance, standards, and interoperability, e-health solutions, infrastructure, human resources, strategy and investment, operational budget, and lastly, procurement.
A recent development states that the House Committee on Health shared by Quezon Representative Angelina Tan approved last January 2019 a substitute bill seeking to establish the national e-health systems and services that will deliver health services through information and communication technology. This will include the measure provides for an organized and structured application of electronic health or e-health integrated in the regular workflow of healthcare facilities. This means that data will be facilitated electronically. It will also seek to utilize ICT to deliver health services which has the potential to be profitable, improve quality, change the conditions of practice, and improve access to healthcare, especially in rural and other medically unserved areas. So this will focus on improvement of technology to local areas that are far. The bill also aims to facilitate the exchange and access to secured personal health information, ensure harmonization or integration alignment, and interoperability among various e-health initiatives and facilitate interagency and intersectoral coordination at various levels of go governance in both public and private sectors. For a detailed explanation and the uh, information about e-health, the link will be provided in our module. Now, this is very important. What is the role of the community health nurse in e-health? Nursing includes the promotion of health, prevention of illness, and the care of ill, disabled, and dying people. Advocacy promotion of safe environment, research, participation in shaping health policy, and inpatient and health systems management, and education are also key nursing roles. Certainly, this definition gives an indication of the diverse range of nursing roles and it's such diversity that causes some difficulties in determining collectivity among nurses. It says that if Florence Nightingale is alive today, she would be a champion for e-health from a nursing perspective. It was she who invented the pie chart to demonstrate more clearly the issue of disease and public health in the Crimea. Now the choice is there and the time to make the choice is now. So improvement in the system, utilizing e-health helps us to make decisions whether to act traditionally and have changed trust upon the professions from the outside or to anticipate this revolution in nursing practice. Familiarize nurses with it and prepare them to take an active part in the introduction of computers into the nursing community. In general, nursing has covered its head and hope that this new development would go away and, and then Take up this choice, improvement in technology, in community health nursing through e-health. The role of community health nurse in e-health. The nurse-patient encounter forms the basis of person-centered care. Now, e-health is viewed as a tool that can be employed to support person-centered care. E-health needs to be integrated in nurses' professional practice, irrespective of role, function, and area of activity. For example, in community health nursing, e-health can support healthcare processes in order to ensure quality, patient safety, and person-centered approach and continuity 
in the care process. Nurses frequently have coordinating function in the organization, which among others includes the handling of health-related information. So in health centers, nurses are, are the one responsible for recording cases, transactions, and consultations. This information should be available in the right format, on the right occasion, and to the right person in the care process as a basis for decision-making, provision, and evaluation of healthcare. This is a prerequisite for e-health to develop in that direction and to meet the patient's care needs, irrespective of their role. Contribute with their knowledge and commitment. The e-health bill will be posted here in our module and I hope you'll be able to manage to browse the content of the e-health bill so that this will help you in answering the formative examinations or quizzes that will be posted here in Canvas. Thank you and have a nice day.